Welcome to this video. Today we're going to be learning how to do a swept boss base. So in the past we have learned how to make a, a pipe and extrude things straight, but today we're going to learn how to extrude them along a path and curve them. For example, you could make a chair like this. This chair is an extruded curved entity. So to begin, we are going to start by opening a new part. And we're going to make the opening of this tube or pipe. So we're going to make a circle on the front plane. Make it face us. And we're going to start at the origin. And we're going to do two because it does have a thickness. So we've got our circles. And then we'll go to Smart Dimension and determine how big around we want this circle to be. So let's just go with a an arbitrary number of three. It's a big pipe. And we'll do this one 2.75. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn it to the right plane. Oh, whoops. First we're going to exit our sketch. And then we're going to go into the right plane. Control 8. And so now we can see that opening from the side. And we'll zoom out. And we're going to sketch and draw some lines. And this is going to make up the path that our tube is going to go along. All right, so we have our lines. Now we're just going to dimension them. So now that I have a fully defined sketch, I'm going to go in and at each of these angles, I'm going to add a fillet. You want to make sure that the radius of the fillet is at least as wide as the diameter of the tube, where some funky things happen, which I'll show you. Um, so we're going to choose this side and this side, and just do that in all of these corners. Okay, so we have fillets in all of our corners. We're going to hit OK and exit our sketch. And under features up here, we're going to find swept boss base. Choose that. So we choose our starting point and the path for it to follow. And we have a pipe. So let's see what it would look like if we were to if we were to make the fillets too tight. So we're gonna do control Z, control Z, and we're going to make these fillets, let's say, one inch. It looks like it would work, right? So let's try it out and see. So we'll choose our starting point and our path. And it doesn't connect it because it's going to make these corners too tight. So just make sure that that is something that you keep in mind when you are doing your extrusions. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe and we'll catch you next time.